again. It has been a while. Um, I have had an extremely busy first quarter or so of this year, third, I guess now, and uh, have not had much time to shoot at all. And uh, this room has been an absolute mess. Yeah. We got a before and after shot, before and after, from from how dirty it was. So I got a uh, got a new guitar. Got this in uh, March this year, and uh, I'm, I know everybody's disappointed because I'm not going to do an unboxing. But um, I will do. I will take the plastic off of the pick guard. I've this is a Kramer VT 211S, and um, yeah, it's a little uh, little Super Strat. Uh, my wife got me this for our anniversary. She I'm finding out after decades that I'm a, I'm a Super Strat guy. I really like Super Strats, and uh, generally, the first thing I do when I get a, an inexpensive guitar is start planning out how I'm going to modify it and everything. But uh, I, I, I played this one and um, I don't, I don't know that I'm going to modify this. I say that now we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. But um, when I plugged this thing in, I was pretty happy with what I was getting out of it immediately. Failing. So let's undo the, the plastic wrap here. Oh, look at that. That sound. That's a magical sound. Holy cow. I think this has a double protection. Does it? It does. This has two pieces of uh, plastic on it to protect the single ply white pit guard. This is a test, and you have failed. All right. It's a two hundred dollar guitar, one ninety nine right now on um, at uh, KramerGuitars.com, and they come in like five different colors. You know, some really bright ones, and uh, this was the one she liked. This one, she just liked the color, that's why she bought it. Made in China. What are you gonna do? Their uh, their quality has definitely gotten better over the decades, and. Uh, I just hope that over the last couple of decades, their working conditions have gotten better too. That's the thing I worry about over there. Um, it's an entry level guitar. It's obviously kind of a beginner's guitar. If you're looking to um, get into playing and you know, you're know you not sure what to get, there are a variety of these out on the market. I'm a big fan of uh, HSS and you can call it SSH, HSS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Fender calls it HSS. These guys didn't call it anything. They just said it's a humbucker with two uh, single coils. Uh, and I, I really like this configuration. It's very versatile, especially if you're going to be playing different styles of music or playing live. Yeah, let's get into some uh, specs here. So yeah, Kramer Focus VT 211S. I wonder what 211 stands for. I have no idea. Is it because it's like a humbucker with two bobbins and then a 1-1? One, one? I don't know. Conjecture. Shouldn't do that. Um, very much a super strat, obviously. Uh, in fact, there are some um, specifications on this guitar that are more original Strat-like, and it's almost as if you took a Strat and made a Super Strat out of it. So, um, Mahogany body, believe it or not. It's not uh, poplar, it's not basswood, it's uh, a mahogany body. With the caveat that on the uh, Kramer website, there's an asterisk that says that uh, they have the right to change any of the specs at any time based on you know whatever they need and whatever they have to put out in a guitar. So... I'm just going to assume what they say is mahogany is mahogany. Um, maple neck, which I'm a fan of, and it has maybe just a slight satin finish on it, which is nice. Um, it, it's not super slick. It's not sticky. Um, you, you can just you know wrap your hand around it and play. Obviously a uh, maple fretboard as well. Uh, ruby red is what they call it. They call it a ruby red gloss finish, and it looks kind of lipsticky. You know, it's. Uh, it's a little, it's not like fire engine red. It's a little lighter than that. 21 medium jumbo frets. Good for rocking. Uh, I'm a fan of the medium jumbos. Bolt on neck. Do, 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 do standard. I, you know, I wonder if you could put a fender neck on this. I wouldn't place my bets on it, but uh, yeah, I, I, if, if you want to really modify this thing, you could probably do a lot with it. But uh, yeah, four bolts, standard bolt on neck. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale, uh, 111 16th inch nut. That is standard Fender stuff right there. That is straight Stratocaster um, nut width. 
So if you know what a Stratocaster is like, this is going to be the same nut width. Um, it's a dual action truss rod. So it goes this way and this way, I guess. Um, I'm actually going to put a link down below to that explains what a dual uh, action truss rod is. Uh, I love that they do this too. This, this, this is a funny spec for me. Strap buttons. Yes. <laughs> It literally says that on their website. Strap buttons, yes. And of course, they're, you know, everything's uh, chrome looking, so it all matches, which again, nice, nice look. Uh, I'm, I'm not usually fond of um, white pit guards. It's just, again, total personal preference. I like to get everything, you know, blacked out. And, um, but that's, that's my personal preference, you know, black, you know, like black shirts. And, but I like the look of this one. It, it, it contrasts real nicely with the red. It's almost got like an early 60s Strat look. Obviously, it's got the matching headstock up here, which sets it apart quite a bit. And that shape, that classic Kramer shape. Um, back to standard fender type stuff. It's got a six-point tremolo system instead of two-point. Um, I would not use this for dive bombing. There are no locking nuts, um, no locking tuners. It's, the neck is it's considered thin, and I would say it's it's thinner than my uh, um, than the Stratocaster, the actual Strat that I have. Um, it's comfortable, even for I mean, like, like I said, I got a relatively meaty hand here, and it's it's comfortable to play on. I got no issues with it at all. It's definitely not big baseball bat style. So almost generally expect anything coming from China nowadays, especially inexpensive stuff coming from China, to have ceramic pickups, um, ceramic magnets, and um, these are on the go fives which kind of surprised me. And it might be one of the reasons why when I picked it up and played it and plugged it in, I wasn't thinking about replacing them immediately. And Almost every time I get an inexpensive guitar, my first thought is, what pickups am I gonna put in it? What pickups am I gonna put in it that cost more than the guitar cost itself? That's generally my train of thought. So uh, this one, not so much. I, I kind of like these guys. I, I'm, I'm maturing. Right, because now I, I I can I can accept this and not have to to make changes to it, because I like doing that. But I'm not going to do that this time, at least not before I finish this video. <laughs> so we got a humbucker, two single coils, standard HSS uh, uh, um, setup. The one thing I have noticed with it is that this humbucker definitely overpowers the single coils. Um, I think you can adjust the pickup height to compensate for that a bit, but uh, this guy is definitely hotter than these two. Yeah, all I've had to do since I got this out of the box if, if essentially is tune it up, and which is really nice because I'm used to having to adjust the bridge, uh, maybe the springs in it or whatever, and this thing was really set up well. Yeah, this is just a really good gateway guitar uh, to, to start your super strat journey, and uh, yeah, it's 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 fun to play with. You know, it's it's another one of those guitars for me, where I'm not going to rip out the uh, the Epiphone when I'm sitting there watching you know Rick and Morty or something, and drinking a beer. I'm going to get this guy out and just play around with it, so you know I can bang the headstock you know and not worry about it at all. All right, let's uh, let's do some ratings. All right, the fact that I didn't have to do like hardly any setup work that I just had to tighten the strings up on it, um, bang, plus one, man. I, I had guitars that cost a lot more than this that I had to do setup work on, so um, plus one there immediately. The look, you know, I, I they're, they're just getting so good everywhere in the world, Indonesia, China, Mexico, um, US, you just go anywhere, and the finish on the guitars is just, it's, it's, it's close to perfect. So I will give a plus one for the look and the finish. It's just, it's kind of nice, you know, super strat. Look, if I was in high school and I was going to play like a, um, at a pep rally or something, and I would definitely take this in there and, and show it off, man. Absolutely do that. So, yeah, that's a plus one uh, for the finish. Uh, normally, I'd give the pickups a plus one, but that... Um, that difference in the output between the humbucker and the, the, the two single coils, I'm not gonna give a plus one for that, but I'm not gonna knock off for it either. I, I will give another uh, plus just for the neck and the whole style of basically making a Stratocaster and then making it a Super Strat, that's a plus one. I'll give a plus one for that. And a plus one for the price, man. $200 to get this for $200?
I am totally impressed. This thing is, is going to get a 9 out of 10. Uh, and I didn't expect that when I, you know, originally unboxed it. No, no qualms at all about giving this guy a 9 out of 10. It's pretty and plays well. And what else could you ask for? Neck is good. Body's good. Pickups are good. Hardware is decent. Um, way to go, Kramer. Of course, Kramer's owned by Gibson. I have different feelings towards Gibson. I think they're uh, a little overpriced and a little too uh, lawsuit happy these days, but very happy with this guy. I, um, I I would recommend it, and I would play it at a gig tonight. So, um, yeah, if, if you're looking for a starter or you're looking for a, an around-the-house spare to have or a backup for your gigs, this guy will work just fine. Yeah. As usual, if you can get into a store and try it out, I was at a guitar center um, last weekend, actually, and they had two of these hanging on the wall. So I think you're going to be able to find these locally. And uh, you can go in and try it out and make sure it works for you even before you order it. Or Thanks for watching. Uh, we, I've got like 300 plus subscribers now, which I didn't ever plan on getting three. Let's see, my mom, my wife. Yeah, I was two. And um, so thanks. I, I, I hope you guys are getting something out of this. It's... Um, there's a ton of people doing this out there. I think one more just helps back up or um, um, reinforce any of the other reviews that might be out there. So if you see you know, 10 other people and they say this guitar is good, I think you're, you're on to something. And that's generally what I do when I'm going to look for a new guitar. I find as many reviews of it as I can. And that's kind of why I do this. I, I enjoy doing it. Um, I enjoy sharing the information. And I appreciate you all watching it. Um, thanks again. Keep rocking, and of course, always, please keep making music, which just, you know. Sorry about that guy. Uh, oh, allergies. Hooray. I don't need to just be picking on the Chinese, because you know what? They work hard, too, so. I've already wasted, what, 20 minutes here. We'll edit that out. How about that? We'll just go ahead and edit that part out.